Hey, everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tarot. Hope everybody's well. So, um, the Cuss Baby Readings is not going to be in all signs this month. Because, quite frankly, it's going to be easier for me to squeeze in 12, 20-minute readings into my schedule than it is going to be to squeeze in an hour and a half to two and a half hour reading into my schedule. So, this is just how we're doing it this month. Okay, so you guys know the drill. Um... If your birthday falls in the specific date period between the two specific zodiac signs, this reading is for you. And it is Scorpio Sagittarius this time around, so that date set will be in the description box below this video. If it resonates, cool. If not, you really can't check your other placements because this is a sun sign thing. So just keep in mind, time and energy are still both fluid. All things can still be vice versa. If you're a cross watcher up in here, it you know might resonate for you. You might be able to see how it's playing out from your perspective, but you know if you're a cross watcher up in here watching the cost, but. You definitely know more about your person. <laughs> if you like looked into that because you're trying to figure them out, I gotta give you props. Anyway, if you're new here, think we might vibe and stuff, you want to come hang out more, you can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. That'd be super cool. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for coming back by. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel and it all helps the video to be circulated to those who might need the message. Queen of Wands came out. Hmm. See if it comes back out. Okay. Mm, never make a life wrong decision based on a tarot reading. And once again, if it's not your story, not your reading, not your message, leave the cards on the table, walk away. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. Take what is yours and leave the rest. Okay. We're going to tip down. Invoke the cards. Heavenly Father, Mother, with Holy Spirit, Spirit, Guides, Angels, I ask for any messages you have for the Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp Babies in my collective and those who may watch this reading. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring all querents to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. What's going on, gang? Strength. Who's crossing you is the Four of Cups. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Four of Cups, that's Cancer energy. Mm. Might be a Leo cast, Cancer Cusp. Ha ha ha. Um, you're holding back, but somebody's trying to hand you a cup. Okay. Okay. Events that might be playing out. Oh, holy hell. Mm. Okay. Now I'm intrigued, friends. Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus energy. Uh -uh. Okay. Somebody trying to rebuild and coming out of the cold after a separation. Huh. Why is it happening? Knight of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Wands and Three of Wands in the reverse. Huh. Something went stagnant. I, I'm I'm hearing, sensing, feeling that somebody got a message and realized they couldn't wait anymore. Maybe that's why they're coming back. I'll get clarity on that in a second. Ace of Swords. Make or break is the King of Swords. Okay. 
Could be a conversation. Could be somebody making a non-emotional decision. Bottom of the deck. High Priestess reversed. Mm, egos, 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 egos. Somebody's got a wounded ego. Might be you. Might be them. Mm. Hmm. Now I'm intrigued. I'm not even going to address this. I'm not. Because that spoke for itself. I want to know why. And then we're going to move to the outcome. I might address that to a cups reverse. But the, the tower reversed and the five of pentacles reversed. That's, that's trying to rebuild and come out of the hole. Talk to me about this Eight of Wands. What's this Eight of Wands? That's messages. That's messages. One on the Eight of Wands. Page of Wands reversed into the Knight of Wands reversed. This is too funny. It, it really is too funny. I feel like somebody may have been like watching your social media or something. Or like... It could have been like via a third party, but I, I feel like somebody just kind of sat and watched and waited for word or the bad signal that something may have been going south in a relationship. One on this Knight of Pentacles. One on the Knight of Pentacles reversed. It's stagnancy. It's something definitely not moving. Okay. Sun reversed. To judgment reversed. Hair bent into the lovers. Oh my gosh. Okay. Somebody didn't make up their mind about what they wanted. Reversal of a judgment call. Reversal of a judgment call. Oh my gosh. Somebody got a wake up call. Something went stagnant. Maybe they didn't know how to approach you. Maybe they didn't feel like they were good enough. Somebody got a wake up call to get up off their ass and go for it. One of those three of wands. One of the three of wands reversed. One of the three of wands reversed. Strength reversed. No longer waiting, closing that gap, no longer holding back. It was somebody got up off their ass. Nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, talk to me about this two of cups reversed. Swords reversed and the Eight of Swords reversed. 
something you never got over. Okay. A cycle that never ended. A breakup. Some got left hanging out there. Somebody never got over it, whether it was them or you. Somebody never got over it. The outcome, the outcome is the new start. So I feel like this is a new start with the same person. Talk to me about this Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups the challenge? Two of Coins into the Three of Coins. First time around, somebody was wishy-washy, couldn't make up their mind, couldn't make up their mind. Somebody was wishy-washy. This foundation never got built. And that's why you're not sure about this cup. That's why you may be holding back from taking the cup. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. There could have been lies and deception involved. This high priestess. <sighs> Things becoming clear. I That feels like wounded ego to me though. That really does. Somebody's ego got very wounded. I don't know if it was theirs or yours. Someone's ego is about to be wounded, but I think clarity is coming in. Clarity in this situation is definitely coming in. All right, talk to me about this Ace of Swords for the outcome. Swords reversed and the page of swords reversed. Oh my god. Damn. Mm, somebody's gonna get told how high and what color. I'm telling you that right now. Oh wow. Holy Moses. One more on that. Your make or break is your ability to control this. It's like, okay, you want to give this one more go? We're going to do this on my terms. That's what I'm feeling off of that. But it's how you express that. Seven of Swords reversed into the Eight of Swords. Yeah. You're going to come back clean. You're going to come back honest. You ain't going to suck me into something again. That's what I feel about. That's how I feel about that. One on this King of Swords for the make or break, please. You going to come back clean? You going to come back right? You ain't sucking me into shit again. The wheel into justice and the Queen of Swords upright into the King of Swords upright. Yup. But this is coming back around. No more BS. We're on a level playing field. You're honest with me. I'm honest with you. That's how this feels. You have to use your words wisely here, though. Don't go off half-cocked. <laughs> if this is something you think you might want... Come in and rebuild. Let him in out of the cold. Bring him in out of the doghouse. Okay. But I'm telling you now, they sat and watched and waited for the opportunity. You may have been with somebody else. And they had to watch and wait for the breakup. Eight of coins reversed into the nine of coins reversed. It's up to you whether you want to put effort into this or not. <laughs> All right. Let's throw one down off of the um, crystal power tarot. And we'll throw an oracle. 
And we'll call it a read, guys. King of Pentacles. I'm sure of my place in this world. And one more. The Sun. I am an optimist and appreciate all I have. The King of Pentacles is the catch, baby. I'm going to throw one more. One more. Ace of Cups. I welcome new love and trust what it brings. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor. I make empowered choices. It is up to you what you do. If you want to give this one more go, I'm telling you right now, they better recognize. Because they already walked away once. They better recognize but you have to be optimistic. If you go if you go back into this with the same energy that you left it with the first time, what do you think is going to happen? So you have to remain optimistic if you want your happiness. But you are the only one with the power to make that choice. Okay, one off the Wisdom Oracle, and we're going to call it a read. Thinker. Okay. Thinker decided it wanted to fly out. We'll do Thinker. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct. For in this moment, there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple, and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. Take that for whatever it's worth to you, guys. Bottom of the deck, soulmates. Ooh. 41. 41. Soulmates is a good one. I like soulmates. You are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them, and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially, too. Soulmates can be for life or remain in your life only for a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. Okay. Scorpio Sag Cusp Babies. I love you guys. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Know that you love and be blessed. And I will catch you guys next month.